So ladies and gentlemen, I've been playing with visual calculations and I'm going to show you what I find out and give you my recommendation at the end. So let's get started. So I have tried to, the idea was to create a profit and loss and see how far I get. And yes, you will not get as far as you can with custom visuals, but I'm going to show you what we have anyway. So you see, then you don't have to figure these things out. So first of all, I'm going to put a uh, asset type and um, current year into a table. I'm going to get prior, uh, prior year two. And then this is going to be and now uh, let's say that I want to create the variance between them. So one minus the other one. So you go to new calculation. You need to have February 2024 to do this. And then this is the bar. And then you just say current year minus previous year. Right. And then click there. And it gives you a new column. And as you can see, this column exists only on the visual. It, it, you are not able to take it somewhere else and use it in some other place. So you, every time you need it, you will need to recalculate it, which is obviously a huge pain. And for simple measures, I recommend you to, you know, for the normal calculation, I recommend you to do them in DAX, obviously. But when you are doing, for example, a profit and loss, where everything is like super picky where things go, this is when the things get useful. Now, I realized a few things. For example, the edit. If I want to edit these, the only way I figured you can do it is to create a new calculation, even though you don't want a new calculation. That's fine. And then here you can see that you have the possibility to hide um, columns. So in order to create a calculation or a visual calculation, you need to have the columns that you're going to calculate with in the visual. So if you're going to do current year minus previous year, previous year and current year has to be in the visual. The good thing is that you can hide them afterwards. So if you're just doing like intermediate calculations, you could get rid of those, hide them, and then you're good to go. I was thinking like, how do you delete stuff? I was wondering if you could delete it here. You have to delete it here. So here you can see remove data. One thing that I noticed is that you cannot hide the text. So for example, when I imported first the data, one the current year or the previous year, I don't remember, it was a text. I changed it to number, but this didn't realize that. So it was still a text, even though it was number and I could do calculations. So in that case, you have to remove it and put it back again. So just be aware of that. Um, what else? Obviously to change the order, you need to change it here. And it will change, nothing weird there. So something else I want you to be aware of is that you cannot edit a, an existing, or at least I couldn't find a way to edit an existing visual calculation. You have to remove it and start all over. Then they have some pre-fixed uh, calculations. I'm going to do a tax write on this because it's, <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, but um, yeah, this is basically it. So it's the very, very early stages. I really hope they continue developing this. It's not the first time that they develop something and they just leave it. So hopefully we will see not only new columns, but also new rows so we can start creating financial statements for real, because this is just not enough. And again, remember, Whatever calculation that you do here with the visual calculation, the columns needs to be there and you cannot reuse these. So most of the times you will be better off using uh, normal DAX and then use these when you need to have a particular order on how to visualize things, especially on tables. That would be my recommendation. So let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you have discovered anything else of what I've shown you here. And uh, let's look at the tax new, brand new tax functions that are available and see what they are all about. It's not as easy as it looks. See you in the next video.